rugged north to the beautiful south to the centre. East, west, doesn't matter where. The four wheel drive tips and tricks and travel and information, you have come to the right place. Come for a ride with us at Mud Ducks Four Wheel Drive Tour. Well, g'day everybody. Steve, Mud Ducks 4 Wheel Drive Touring with another spotlight on campgrounds. Today, we've found ourselves at Brett Eye Reserve on the Thunderbolts Way. This one's around 30, 35 k's from the town of Barrington. So I'll give you a look at it. It's big, this one. So I'll give you a look at it. I'll spin you around and show you what we can see. All right, now we came down, as you will have seen by now, a bitumen road down the hill. And that road led us past the amenities block. Well, it's one amenities block, so I'll show you more. Actually, I won't show you any more about amenities block. It's an amenities block, guys. Anyway, very popular campground, this. And quite pretty. <laughs> These guys down here would have probably a couple of the best campsites. I won't go down near them and bother them. And the road runs down through a causeway to private property where there's a stop sign that says no camping. So you camp on this side. These guys would have another cracking spot here. Now as you can see there's room for everything four -wheel drives two wheel drives caravans campers it's all available here's your booking through mid case council so let's have a water around it it's big guys it's big it's alongside that beautiful river like i said those guys had the pick of spots for views there's fire pits not a lot of fully properly structured fire pits, but there is some. There's a lot of fire places that people have set up. Now I'm going to basically stay on the main road through the middle here. But down that way, there's a track runs down closer to the river and there's some more remote camping in there. But this reserve does have these day use shelters. You know, I reckon if you camp not far from one, there'd be no reason you couldn't use it if you needed to. Uh, that'd be quite handy. As you can see, motorhomes, caravans. Only seems to be, I oh know, I was going to say, it only seems to be four wheel drives in here, but that's not true. Further down, there's a Commodore. Down there in the distance, you might see our camp. You've got this big, massive open area here where there's another set of wheel tracks. So there's probably no reason you can't 
camp in the middle. There's evidence of fires in there. Now I don't know if you can see in the distance here guys, there's another whole group camped up there. And they came in from a road on the uphill side of the first amenities block. Now, the grass is quite long in here at the present. But there's cattle in here to help try and knock it down. With that said, it's not bad, but from time to time there is the obvious aroma of cow poo. But that's just how it is, isn't it? It's our camp down there. Yeah, we don't have spectacular views of the water or anything, but uh, it's still pleasant. And then, as I've mentioned already, there's anything at all can get down here. Now I'd suggest bring your own wood because I haven't found any floating around here and I don't think I would. Popular spot. Down there in the distance is a bloke camping a motorbike so you can do it to anything can't you? And here's an interesting thing which I think is a great idea. A whole shed caged area here full of bins so that the bulk of your animals can't get in there and hijack everything and make a mess. Now with that said, us animals, people, should be using those bins and so far there's no sign of any rubbish anywhere which is great. This campground is not far off the main road. Right now I can hear a truck probably coming down the hill. But I don't think you're going to be too bothered by the traffic. Now I'm probably halfway through the campground now so I've gone oh, yeah, a couple of hundred metres. So I've got a similar amount, or maybe a bit less, maybe 100 metres to the end. So I'll bring you down here. I'll try not to disturb the people that are camping around here too much. But some good camping areas just there. So if you're in the area, come to this one. This is worth looking at. There's even kids. They turn up. We didn't even pay for these kids. They just front up, guys. Anything to get on YouTube. So I don't even know who those kids are. I guess they belong to one of these people. Anyway, that's all good. As you can see, family friendly, more fire pits, lots of room for your kids to run around guys if you come down here with them. Getting down towards the bottom end now. A few more shelters. There's another set of toilets over here. These ones are actually marked ladies and gents. Now, I can't imagine that it would really matter, <laughs> to be honest. But, no, anyway, they're marked that way. I doubt whether they get used that way. But they're the usual pit toilets. Now down this end here, I have strayed from the track. Down this end here, it's a lot sort of less wild in the grass section. I don't know if the cattle have eaten it better or if it's been slashed. But it's uh, nice and short. As you can see, more caravans. Remnants of a pole here that used to have a sign on it. Now it's just a pole. And then come down to the edge of the camping area here it looks like an area where the river would overflow when it's bigger. So, I don't know, there's water down there. I've never been here, guys, so this is a 
learning experience. So when you come right down this bottom end, you can get to the water. There's an appropriate gap in the fence for you to go through by the look of it. So we'll go that way with you. Give you a look. You sort of pretty views at the other end. This is designed to be cattle. Can't come through it. Tell you what, fat YouTubers don't fit through there very well either, guys. Ah oh dear. Anyway, fat YouTubers still made it. So this pathway or walkway takes you down and around to a causeway and the riverbank and over some more private property over there. So there is a gate, so I'm not 100 sure where you're supposed to be on here or not. I can't imagine it'd be a big deal. And you can go right down to the causeway. I'll give you a look at this little bit of river. So, it's quite pretty, as most of these waterways are. There's people up there, it looks like you can swim if you wish to. And it's just a nice, pretty expanse of water. So, not sure how those people got to that bit, but I'm not going to go up there and figure it out. Hope you don't mind, guys. I know in other video clips, people are going, if you're not going to walk up there, then why do the clip? But half of the fun is exploring these areas, guys. So I'll show you the basics, the main bits. You come here and check out the rest of it for yourself. So, it's a big campground. Now, of course, with COVID, one day this will stop, but at the present, you have to book with the Mid Coast Council to camp here. Now, camping is no more, maximum camping's time at this campground is a month, guys, okay? One month. So, surely you can do your holidaying in that month. Yeah, back out from that track, wandering along the fence line, I won't get too close to this guy in his caravan. But here's another pretty good spot. Admittedly, he's got a fence to look at. It's still not a bad spot. So, realistically, there's enough room for you and pretty well everyone you know to come and camp down here. And it's not a bad place to do it. my first time here and no idea if it'll be my last but I hope it's not it's certainly a, a big open lovely area to come for a look around on the Thunderbolts way and I'm honestly running out of things to say so Pretty sure you get the gist of it. So, hopefully, you like this video. If you did, put a like on it. If you're new here, consider subscribing. And if you're old hands, as always, thanks for taking the time to watch one of my clips. 
Hope you enjoyed this one. Brett High Reserve Campground off the Thunderbolts Way. All the best, guys, and we will see you on the next one. Cheers.